Yo, what's good? It's Bavaro Beats. I'm here with Vivant, and you're tuned into Equite. No one ever did it how I did it. Turned up and terrorized our city. How the fuck did you die before you ever see me? Turn up to see y'all. Bavaro Beats is a music producer. I was born in Iran, I'm Persian. I moved to Canada when I was around grade six. Started in the music business basically starting with drums. Playing drums is like probably like a young kid and then rhythm was like basically my whole thing, you know? So I started DJing for like probably like four or five years and then I started realizing I'm like, yo, I really like the music shit. I'm trying to make the music, you know? So let's see what we can do with this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Make sure that I can get that emotion in the beginning just a little, a little quiet. So I'm gonna put an EQ on there. Starting with GarageBand, I started playing around in there and then I ended up getting Logic, fucking around, working with other producers, seeing what they're doing, going on YouTube, and I started producing from there, honestly. Honestly, I used to be really into house music when I started. So there was a DJ, his name was uh, Alvaro, and I just really liked the ring to his name, you know what I mean? So I'm like, yo, what, like, what could be sick with that same kind of like name type shit? So I basically went with Bavaro, you know what I mean? What I usually like to do is I like to pan my hi-hats, make them go left and right type shit, you know? I want to do it right now is I want to add some ambient sounds, maybe get a little feeling, more feeling to it. So like I honestly stayed comfortable and I never like wanted to like get out of my comfort zone realistically because like I was doing so well on Logic and I figured out a way to make beats on Logic that not a lot of people that use Logic would make beats on there and it was working for me you know so the way I make beats is like I'm mixing as I'm going I'm like literally dragging and copy and pasting every sound that I'm putting in there. Yeah. Maybe like a little snap. And the, the quality of the beats become became better like that. So for me, quality is key, right? So that's how I ended up finding out my way to make beats on Logic and it's been it's been it's been working out really good. Usually people will stop right here, but I still like to add some more sounds. Yeah, for sure, because obviously I'm from Toronto, right? I grew up here. So when I was growing up, I'm listening to like Casper and like old Robin Banks. That shit was my shit. So I'm like, yo, I got to work with them, you know, because they had a name in the city. And obviously, when you w if you want to be established, you got to be established in your own city first, you know? I like to add a lot of percussive instruments, especially in R&B beats, just because like how it makes the beat a lot more ambient. So I started tapping in with them. I just DM them, be like, hey, like I got two hours free for you, you know, pull up to the studio, you know, pull up. They showed love, all of them, honestly. They fuck with the beats, you know, so we ended up having a relationship from there. And a lot of the rappers in the city, like, wouldn't treat me as nice as a lot of them I locked them with now. Like, obviously, everyone got their own shit going on. But personally, you got to work with people that are going to also appreciate your work. The specific people I work with in the city are all the people that appreciated my work. Let's see if we can add some sort of shaker in there. I feel like sets me apart is like I'm very key on sound selection. You'll hear probably 10 beats. Guys are probably same, using the same snare, same kick, drum pattern is the same. Maybe a producer that's already big doing the same shit, you know? So for me, it was like more like sounds that I was using in my beats. And like for me, it's like, I want you to like feel the beat, you know what I mean? Because especially the style that I make beats in is very like emotional, you know? Like I want you to have an emotional connection. If you like put a little light kick. Yeah, for me, fashion's like always been a thing for me, honestly. Like growing up, like I was super into drip and like looking good, dressing good, smelling good. It's very key for you to have a good image when you're walking into the studio with these artists because they're gonna look at you from the jump and be like, okay, this guy has no swag. He probably has no swaggy beats. So like you gotta make sure that your image is on point and like you walk into the studio and be like, okay, this guy looks like he probably got some shit, you know? I kind of go out of like using like African type vibe, like what you hear on an Afro beat, I'll probably use those same sounds on an R&B type beat, you know? Yeah, now it's sounding like a real, you know, vibe for show. 
I like to add a lot of risers and effects onto my beats just to give it that little cinematic emotional vibe. Uh, let me see if I can build the 808s now. I feel like the game is being very overly saturated with loop makers. What's happening now is everyone is kind of placement chasing. So they're kind of forgetting about the whole aspect of come up with somebody, you know? Like that's always been the dream, right? To like make it out with someone that you've been rocking with for a minute. But now it's like people just want to go and grab that placement and be like, yo, I got little baby placement. Yo, I got this placement. I got that placement, you know? For me, it's like I want to build a brand, but I don't want anybody to not know who I am, not know my face. You know, a lot of these loop makers, they're not even in the studio with these artists. So like they don't even know who made this be, who they are. You know what I mean? For me, intros are super important. Emotion is a huge part of, of my beat making process because I make my beats based off real life events, like feelings or like real life shit, you know what I mean? So like when I make a beat, like I want you to like automatically think about something or like a memory or like someone, you know? Just cause like you're getting that vibe from that beat, you're just like you're starting already like getting that emotion already running, you know? At the end of the day, we all listen to music because we can relate to something to it, right? Girl ever break your heart? The next day you went, <laughs> you went to the studio right away after. Yeah, for, like, sure. for sure. When I was like, when I was young and dumb, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Benji, we we worked on a song together for his album. It's called uh, The Voice. He sent that song to Vori's team, and they really liked the song, and they he ended up hopping on it for his album. He's like, yo, like, who made this beat? At the jump, I thought, like, okay, I got the connection, because, like, he's asking, right? But nothing really came out of it. But I was still, like, really hungry for that, like, just me and him type shit. Like, I wanted to get one with him. So I ended up, like, kind of going on his IG, seeing, like, who his engineer is, like, who he's, you know, who he's, like, around, you know? So I ended up finding his engineer, and then I started, like, DMing him. He was a super sick guy, like, you know, he was replying, he was sending me, yeah, send me packs, Da, da, da. So literally, I sent him like probably like four packs, you know, and then the, I think the fourth pack, he's like, yo, we got one. Project Baby came out and I was super stoked for it. Like it was crazy, crazy feeling. When I didn't think it could get any better, um, French Montana and DJ Drama ended up hopping on the remix. So he, I got another bag just for that one too. Yeah. <laughs> When it comes to the artist from here, like, I wish Tori was out right now. <laughs> yeah, <for> real, <laughs> Honestly, that's Tori. one guy I would have wanted to work with for sure, you know? But other than that, I'm really trying to tap into the U.S. market right now, you know? You know, trying to work with, like, people like Boston Richie, YTB Fat. Honestly, one guy from the city I want to work with is Roy Woods for sure. Yeah, I'm trying to get into that scene, get my foot in the door in that scene, and then I'm trying to go work with the more of the R&B guys after, you know? Just because, like, I feel like I can get my foot in the door quicker this way. For me, arrangement is everything because the artist is going to be listening to this and wants the vibe out the whole way on. So for me, arrangement is make sure that the vibe is still there. I'm, I'm actually in the middle of working on a new album right now and uh, I'm trying to make sure that this one is perfect when it comes to like the marketing, the rollout, the features and like the songs as well, you know. Hopefully by the end of the year I can have some sort of track list done but I have like a couple of songs already that I'm, I already have an idea to put on the tape but yeah for sure end of the year the track list will definitely come out for sure. I like to cut my hi-hats right before the beat drops just because it gives it a little bit more of a drop. I feel like we can add a little break on there. This beat sounds done. I'm gonna make sure I get my tag in there. Beat it up, Bavaro. When I'm done with the sounds, I want to make sure all the levels are good. To pan all my drums just to give it a lot of room for the artist. I have a master bus on here, nothing too crazy, just a limiter and an EQ. My master EQ, I like to usually take out some of the lows just to 
give that room for the artist because the basses will be clashing with the voice. You don't want that. Now this is a Bavaro B right here. Yeah, right now I'd probably say my favorite song I've made was Chestnut Checkers with Northside Benji just cause like that beat, even that, all those beats that I did on his album, especially the voice and Chestnut Checkers were just beats that like are Bavaro beats. You know what I mean? Like when you hear that you'll know it's a Bavaro beat. You know what I mean? Just cause like that emotional connection and like when you off the bat you hear it like you're already like in a vibe. Other than Keep Running it's just like a real turn up song, you know? Just like get you turned to type shit. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Spavaro beast, man.